Hello, my name is Rachel Partridge and I'm Assistant Director of Public Health at Public Health Dorset. As you'll see from the figures that we have on our weekly summary on the Public Health Dorset website, the national restrictions were really effective in rapidly driving down the infection rate within our area. Thank you so much for all your continued work following those restrictions. However, we still see a significant number of COVID-19 infections within our community and many of you will be aware of people directly impacted by being either a case or a contact of COVID-19. It's really important that we continue to follow these restrictions and tier two is still quite significant in the fact that you're not able to meet anyone outside of your household uh, unless it's outside and again in less than six people. It's really important that we continue to follow these rules to keep infection rates as low as possible and to reduce the impact of COVID-19. Very aware that the holiday season is starting in earnest with Hanukkah and the lead up to Christmas, but it really is a reminder that we still need to follow these measures. And particularly a reminder that the bubble um, restrictions don't come into place until the 23rd till the 27th of December. And even then, we, we really would advise to, to, to keep cautious and be vigilant to protect our loved ones. This week in Dorset, we've had our first few people that have been vaccinated against COVID-19. This is really exciting and obviously is a potential end in sight. And hopefully 2021 will become a better year with less of the impact of COVID-19. I want to say thank you to the hundreds of people that are working tirelessly and at very rapid pace to set up clinics and roll out this really complicated vaccination programme. For those of you that are in priority groups, you will be contacted by, by the NHS when the clinic slots become available. So please don't contact your GP or hospital in advance of that. You will be contacted. And it's also a reminder that we have to be patient. This is exciting news, but it's going to take months to roll out effectively this very large vaccination programme. So until then, we still need to maintain our vigilance and work hard to keep the level of COVID-19 transmission as low as possible until we can all be safely protected using the vaccination programme.